Hello everyone, it's been a long time since I've done a video like this. Um, and basically, <laughs> I am feeling a little bit better and as well as a different journey as well. I'll get to that in a bit. But first of all, the first tumour is gone. It's, it is severed from my lung. Um, I had a few weeks to recuperate in, at home and first week of course, well, less than a week in hospital. Progress is rapid, by the way, making a rapid recovery. And um, yeah, I, I just f feel really confident about this. I mean, um, trying to get used to this side again. Um, having sick pills to just trying to ease some pain. Um, yeah, I've been I've been walking about a bit more and just get, getting used to all used to it all. And uh, hopefully, I can actually get back to some simpler activities like just uh, walking long distance and so on and so forth um, but unfortunately not at this kind of because as you know we're officially in local lockdown again because of Covid cases just rising up again which is which is, shame, which is a shame to be honest so yeah not much you can do about it but otherwise we're all good at this moment in time properly proper family and friends support all over the place, which I'm absolutely grateful for. Um, but yeah, um, that's one tumour sorted, but I've got another one to sort out. Um, well, this is actually a, it's actually a week or so before that I had my lung up, that I have a little tumour in my thyroid, which is right around here, and that controls the hormones to my weight gain and weight losses and so on and so forth. Basically, it just controls the metabolism of my body saying if I eat too much I gain weight and so on and so forth there's a chance that it might get removed and if it does get removed then I have to be put on metabolism um, tablets for the rest of my life which is really not a bad thing if you really think about it but I would but it's just because if you because if I forget about it then that sort of disaster might happen which is it's just like dialysis for body weight basically um, so I so I really don't, don't know how to protest but I am feeling much more confident than I was uh, before my lung up, I'll tell you that much. And uh, yeah, the, the people at uh, Liverpool and uh, Heart and Jess Hospital took real good care of me. Um, brilliant services, I'll tell you that much. And um, yeah, his answer to, and the other patients that are there was sound, um, to, despite um, United losing to Crystal Palace and um, so on and so forth. I will get to that later on in this video, but though, um, yeah, it's just, it's been brilliant, and uh, having to come home, get myself strength, strength back up again, uh, my sister brought myself um, temporarily a Tassimo machine next to my PC, not, not, not really safe though, not really safe to have the Tassimo machine next to the uh, PC, that is sorted out uh, saying that uh, that's going to be a by risk, which well, so like I said, it is temporary, and then we'll move it soon. We're just down to cappuccino taps right now. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's all good, and um, yeah, we're hoping to rebuild on that. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, my health journey at the moment in time. I have a consultation tomorrow on the fifth of October. I'm recording this on the fourth of October, by the way, and. Um, yeah, we're just going to try to sort the thyroid out and uh, hopefully all be health-wise better before Christmas. So, yeah, it's all good so far. All good. Um, apart from United, which I will get onto it now. Um, where do I start with this? Um, it's the 4th of October 2020 and if you're not significant with that date, if you watch this in, if you're in the future, is the day that we lost 6-1 to Tottenham Hotspur and Old Trafford and um, and it all comes down to the hierarchy we've been saying this for many months a few years now it's not to do with the manager anymore because if it was to do for the manager then we'd be we'll be, been, we'll be having having our heads on uh, we'd be really at his neck at it but 
we realised over these last few years and even over the last couple of months, especially in the transfer market where we've done absolutely no progress, 2013 comes back to mind, we've just signed Fellaini. And bear in mind, we are on the verge of signing a couple more players, according to Fabrizio Romano, getting Edison Cavani, four years too late, and Alex Tellez, um, right on time. But in, in, when I say right on time, and I mean right on time in terms of his growth, not in terms of the timing of the season. Because as, I, as far as I'm concerned, it's too little, too late. We should have made those signs at least earlier on in the transfer window and thinking, yes, we'll be trying and sort that out as much as we can. But Edward Wood is really trying to piss us off as much as he can and as well as trying to gain extra security just to prevent another one of his um, incidents happening from earlier this year as you may have remembered that um, a large group of people just uh, threw fireworks at his house and I wouldn't and people would blame him for being silly back then but nowadays we wouldn't blame him at all because he's that incompetent Edward Wood is and yeah we just want him out we just want Woodward wood wood out no no longer is it the to do with the manager because if it was to do with the manager then like I said we'd be as as neck of it because people was people are saying that the manager makes the choices we would agree to that if he had more options to choose from but he had less options to choose from because of the amount of equipment that we failed to get through. And it all goes with Woodward, and it all goes with the Glazers. The Glazers do jack shit. We know that. And it's... I, I'd rather not speak on about this anymore, but I have put, like, a referendum tweet, a fan referendum tweet saying to, 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 stop, to stop this... Um, be stressed out anymore because the club doesn't take any regard of its fans we should think do we not take any regard of the club at all and leave for the better fan base operation at SFT United of Manchester which is currently in the Vanarama National League North I believe or well, I'm, I'm not too sure but it's better to probably support a club that is with the fans for the fans and everyone's an owner if you're going for a membership than just really suffer at the hands of idiotic Americans who think money is the best way to go, which it isn't. So I put a referendum tweet down below and hopefully that will sort it out. Also, recently I tried to get back into streaming and of course there's always the obvious comments of the stream is lagging and so on and so forth. And that's why I've uh, taken the liberty of saying it's time to grow up. I actually got myself, like, an actual PayPal account sorted out and so on and so forth. And, like, if anybody wants to help me out, then there's a donation thing at the bottom of the thing. People just like to complain. I just move along. But right now, I want to make sure that people have the best quality that they can in terms of the streams, in terms of what well, the quality of content I put out. Because I can only put out what I got. Simple as that. And finding jobs in this climate is gonna be as tough as it is. I've tried to advertise myself on some um, Facebook groups. Got a, got a couple of um, contacts, but no, but not probably substantial because I can't go out the least. can't go out of the house because of this pandemic again and also of course because I had a lung up so I do genuinely need help in terms of, of uh, monetary gains so I put a donate link at the bottom if you want to help me out try and get try and get some money rolling through the door and hopefully improve my equipment so I can create better content for you and also because Different games are coming out. FIFA is coming out again. Uh, F1 is possibly better than FIFA at this moment in time because it's got that, uh, this my team feature in, and um, yeah, and so on and so forth. But it's not all doom and gloom. 
as far as I'm concerned, because Sound Radio Wales is going to FM soon, which I'm really, really happy about. And um, yes, I'm really hoping to get on with that as much, as much as I can. So yeah, that's all I've got to say for now. If you've got any comments you want to make about it, make about it, send it to support my way, or so on and so forth. Then please leave a please leave some comments, leave a like or so. If you want to send anything my way, any donations, then please send it to the donation thing. Don't forget to partake in the fan referendum that I put in the fan referendum tweet below. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well, because yeah, more more subscriptions keep this channel alive basically. And uh, yeah, that's practically it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon. By the way, got a new bed as well. Anyway, see you later. See ya.